Hey, yo, what's cracking, man? It's your boy C. Gibbs. We back at it with another reaction video for y'all today. Today, I got a guest with me and my man Zico over here. Oh. How's it going? Chilling. Always. So, man, we're going to go ahead and get a little interview. I'm going to let him react to some uh, Indian rap today. You know, India was good. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Zico is an uh, up and coming rapper. If he's not up and coming, he's already there. So, when this blows up, you know, just know. I was there in the beginning a little bit, you know what I'm saying, helping him out, and as he has turned, is helping me and helping me out start this up. So, you know, without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, get into it. Can I go with you? But I, I went through, okay, so you probably don't think this is kind of stalkerish, but, you know, I find you on your YouTube, and, of course, you have your uh, your vlogs up there, or not vlogs, we call it documentation, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shout out Gary V one time. Yes, sir. So I actually sat down, and yesterday, you know, that was my highlight of my day, actually sitting down watching your videos because it made me inspired and made me excited to come here and actually talk to you about the context of your videos and like, I was like writing down notes when I was uh, listening to your YouTube videos and I was like you know what this guy like when you first met I was like we can just talk about life to be sure, honest with you on yeah. this interview and it'll be golden Fact. like I don't even need interview questions or nothing I could just be here and we can just talk all day run out of stories and whatever the camera will die and we'll still be talking you know what I'm saying so I'm gonna try to keep it at a point to short as possible right. but i'm also want to get into depth because i feel like that's what this uh interview needs you know what i mean people need to hear like their rise to stardom you know what i'm saying and right now you're not you're there but not where you want to be we're just all in it exactly so you know we'll just get into it man so first of all how do you come up with your name i mean pretty simple i mean right yeah it's zach cohen zico <laughs> people started calling me in high school and it kind of stuck uh, I've thought about changing, I still think about changing it back to Zach, Zach Cohen, mm. um, but I don't know, there's like J. Cole, like J. Cole, Jay-Z, Z. Cole, I look up to both of them, yeah. so I mean, yeah. it, kinda, it, it works, I, I think it goes, I like it, I mean, I was listening to your video and you said it used to be Don, what was it? I mean, you still use it in your beats when you make Young, young Don, Don, yeah. young Don so the guy who makes my beats is, is Young Don on the song. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, what, was, what was your beginning rapper name, though? I remember you talking about it. Envy. 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 There we go. Yeah. It was Envy. So then. I thought it was cool that the letters of the word spelled out Envy. Right. And so I went by Envy. <laughs> I thought that's that was dope. cool. Hey, that's it. I like that concept, but hey, you know, I like Zico more. It has more of a ring to me. I appreciate that. And it's easy to call you that. So, sure. <laughs> so where are you from, man? I mean, I'm from Los Angeles. Los Angeles? Uh, the Valley. The Valley. Okay. So. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm, people are gonna be in the comment section like, "Oh, he got money." What are you talking about? So, so like, my parents have money. There you go. Um, I mean, I'm not gonna act like that's not a fact. You grow up in the suburbs, mm -hmm. um, but I don't have money. Right. I'm no. a byproduct of that. Exactly. People need. I was born There's a difference. Too. Yeah, I mean, I, I acknowledge that. It's, right. I, that's what I got. My desire to be independent from that has never been stronger as I get older because. It's uh, it's like a tightrope too. Like your your parents, you know, they try to provide for you. Like ultimately, you want to provide a life for your children, and I acknowledge that. But it's also like, okay, why? Well, it's time for me to to make do for myself. It's exactly. Time to make, make my own. Make your own way. Make your own path. You yeah. Know what I'm that's that's good to hear because you talk about that uh, one of your songs, and one of the uh, um, uh, vlogs. Oh, okay. Well, that too. So then uh, I remember you talking about that, and I was like, see, at least. People don't acknowledge that enough. It's in super rap today. key. Yeah, it's super. I mean, it's just it's a fact. Like I can't. There's my whole my my whole thing is like I don't want to act like I'm someone I'm not. Exactly. And so it's like it's cringe for me to look back on the vlogs, mm -hmm. but that's who I was. That's who I am. I'm this person that wants to provide value to other people, and uh, a lot of that was inspired by Gary. A lot of that was inspired yeah. by him because this he's. I mean, he's a. In ten years, I guess we'll look back and say like he was a revolutionary, but. You know, I think he's aware of it too. No, no one else before him was preaching self-awareness no and way. like patience and gratitude and no like way. effort. Like, who was telling you these things? It was all about flexing, especially yep. in hip hop culture. It's like, yo, I've fucked this many girls. I have this much money, yep. this much, and it's like, you hear that, and then you see rappers like Fifty bankruptcy and stuff like that. Yes. And you know, he made more money off vitamin water than music, but people just want to be rappers because they think money, the highlight, and, the and then they get the money and they lose it, and it's like, they don't have to spend that's, it. that's a whole nother. Of course, topic. I mean, we, we can get into that too, also, man, so, sure. why did you come to Tucson? I mean, obviously, I, I can tell you why, but I want you. Um, yeah, I came for the University of Arizona. All right. What was your, what was your original plan here? You were going to come here, get your schooling done, and then, then what? So, actually, in, 
in high school, I um, I was really serious about making music. In high school, senior year, I was doing open mics, driving down like once a week. Um, and I wanted to do this school called Icon Collective, mm -hmm. but um, the money that my parents had saved up essentially to pay for college mm -hmm. wasn't able to be spent on that. And so it didn't make sense to, to do that school when they right. had saved money for a traditional four year. And um, I think a lot of it, you know, looking back, I don't have any regrets. No. Um, it's just like a lot of lessons, I guess, for, oh. for, for um, I wouldn't even say missteps because I wouldn't be where I am without it. But right. uh, yeah, I came here for entrepreneur, I, entrepreneur, I was pre-business, so I okay. came here for the business program. Um, cool. Yeah, super Shout entrepreneurial. Out. Shout out, yeah. <laughs> um, but then I switched majors a couple times, retail, consumer science, and like communication. Now I'm doing general studies just to get the piece of paper at this point. <laughs> right. Hey, nothing wrong with that. That's cool. So in high school, I mean, I want to go back to high school because I feel like that's when you started for taking yeah. this seriously, right? Yeah. So what what grade were you in? Senior, sophomore, junior? What? Um, I've been. I mean, I, the whole this. Me and my friend uh, Mitchell, uh, shout who's, out Mitch. who's a producer, shout out Mitch one time. Um, <laughs> he, I mean, there's a video of us on YouTube. You can go find it. It's us. Uh, Hobson used to do You know Hobson? I love Hobson We used to do these contests Don't funk up the beats Yep, I remember those And yep. we did it in We were 14 years old And so I'm 21 now So that's 7 years ago We just recorded that in my room Put that video out that night That shit's funny <laughs> um, And then Yeah, so I've been You know, it's always been a, a very like I don't know I've always loved music I've always appreciated it To me like as a kid, I first wanted to be a magician. Like, I, okay. the oldest memory of me wanting to perform and do stuff was being a magician. Yeah. And that didn't really pan out, but <laughs> the way I look at it is, like, people love movies. Like, oh, what's your favorite movie? Like, like culture, you know, yeah. music, movies. Um, these make you feel something. Of course. And it's, like, magical. There's, there's not really words that describe it when you hear a song. When I hear Love Yours, and it just puts me back to, yeah. you know, uh, 2014 and, yeah. like, that time when I'm like trying to like distance myself from people who weren't providing the most value for me and you know you are your environment I really learned it around that time yep. I actually came across Tim Ferriss at that time yep. um, but yeah, so, that's it. <laughs> so yeah to answer your question I'm digressing but no, it's all good. I so, think I think really years? junior junior year so junior year? okay 2015 ish okay started taking it seriously so what was Rap at the time, 2015, 2015, what was out? J. Cole just dropped 2014, Forest Hills. J. Cole, yeah. So I bet you listened to that. Kendrick, Good Kid was right before that. Yep, okay. Those are, I mean, those are my two favorite artists. Classics. Um, it's funny we say classics only like, what, seven, six years yeah, ago? <laughs> but they will be. They are. I mean, they are. <laughs> they're platinum. I mean, shoot. That's cool. That's crazy. So, okay. So speaking of high school, you know, high school is like that year of like, you're either doing something mm -hmm. or you're not doing anything. If you're not do doing anything, you're mostly hating on people that are doing something. Yeah. So did you experience that's a lot life, of- That's life though. That's exactly. really life. People, that people be on Instagram, oh, yo, fuck this guy just because he's doing shit. Right. <laughs> um, no, but I mean, I'm, I'm a hypocrite. I'll, I'll be the first to say that. I'm, yeah. I'm flawed. But- uh, We all are, aren't we? Yeah, so- <laughs> Uh, high school. So okay. So my influence. I was thinking about this the other day because I just did the podcast and it got me thinking about things that I didn't really analyze until people asked me. But yeah. I'm super big on like melodic stuff. Okay. So like, whenever I was in my dad's car, we would listen to um, 94.7 The Wave, which is like smooth yep. jazz. Yep. So like Stevie Wonder, all that stuff with my dad. Mm -hmm. And then in my mom's car, we listen to the radio, like pop. Right. So I loved Akon for my for <laughs> like. Colby O'Donis, What You Got was my favorite song. I as replay, like I love catchy melodic stuff. Yeah. And I also love bars. Like I love Lil Wayne, Eminem, like just the genius of it, breaking down lyrics. I would, because J. Cole said I used to print Nas raps and put them on my wall. I was like, oh. all right, well, I'll do that because Cole did it. Like, yeah. So I literally printed out Nas, um, Nas raps, put them on the wall, analyzed it, like Lupe Fiasco's mural. Like I love bars, but I also mm -hmm. love melody. Yep. Um, and that kind of, I guess, you know, th those influences heavily influenced my sound, I guess. That's great. That's Actually, it. yeah, since you mentioned it, like, I do hear that a lot of that in your sound, and a lot of hear, like, J. Cole vibes a little bit, but, like, it's not so J. Cole's like, oh, this guy's ripping off J. Cole because right. he's a fan. It's like, nah, he flipped it, made it his own, and now it sounds, like, similar, but it's not because you still have the bars, the catchy beats, you know what I'm saying, yeah. and the, the hook. 
I always like your hooks. I mean, it's always, it's always something to, you know, get lit to or something to bob your head. It's like, it's like in hip hop, I feel like if you can get somebody to bob your head to your song, they're ready. That's it, yeah. Yeah, they're ready to set the deal, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They got some more questions up here. That's, that's the tricky part, though, is because the balance of, like, uh, valuing how other people react to it yep. and valuing yourself exactly. and how you feel about it. Because I'll love a song and then I'll show people, like, yeah, it's all right. And then it changes how I look at the song that's because true. I value, because ultimately if I want to make money off my music and make a living off it i need other people to like it above their heads a lot yeah it, so it's it's, it's a tricky balance. A balance yeah, yeah. And like i think you're developing a way to like your song, your music is meaningful like people like they bob your head but it's like if you listen to your 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 meaning to your song it's not like nonsense it's not right. mumble rap it's not i got a sick beat and a hook and I'm gonna just go off on that because that's that's all hip hop is today, man. I don't know yeah. about all. I not mean, all, not all. Just what I hear on the radio. Yes. Exactly. What I hear on my homies playlist. What I hear on my playlist is like all these mumble rap, and it's like, okay, why can't we go back to when Biggie and Tupac yeah. was out here and Nas was talking right. about this, and then Lupe Fiasco. I was really talking about the culture, the black culture, talking about how hip hop is. And I wish we could go back to that, but it's all good. You know, there's people like you that give me hope in hip hop. <laughs> hey, it's uh, my whole thing is just I want to leave an impact. Like and that's I think it. You are. It's I'm about honest. the music. At the end of the day, like I just want to make good music and impact people. Like I was impacted. Yep. Like that album, 2014. That song, Love Yours, is if not my favorite song. Yep. Just because it's like there's no such thing as a life that's better than yours. Like there's this there's this quote. It's like if I took up all my problems and issues and stresses and put them into a bag. And everyone else in the world put them into a bag. And I threw my bag out. We all threw a bag out. You better hope you get your bag back. Yep. And that's real. It's like, you know, it's so easy for me to go on Instagram and compare. Like, oh, dang, I don't have a six pack. Oh, dang, <laughs> short. Oh, dang, this. It's like, okay, well, I can see. Yeah. Like, I can hear. I can taste. Like, I have, you know, like, I have friends. I have family. I have life. Like, yeah. I have breath. Like, there's so much. I try to focus on gratitude, especially in this day and age where everything is so easy to compare stuff. It is. Even... Every news thing, it's comparing. I mean, every news thing's negative, but like, of course, J. Cole or Kendrick, it's like, who cares? Yeah. <laughs> like, really, who cares who's the best? Yeah, it's, it's subjective. But. Hey, like, like Middle Child said, right? Why that? Yeah. Like, two legends, two legends can't coexist. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. So that was uh, J. Cole. Shout out J. Cole, man. This this whole thing is gonna be like just inspired by J. Cole, Kendrick. You know what I'm saying? All the real rappers out there. So, what was your first song you wrote that didn't blow? But you thought it was good enough. I mean, you think all I mean, your songs are good. Exactly. Blown. <laughs> but I, I think so. I, I don't honestly, know blown. I mean, I guess that's subjective. All right. The first, uh, the first song I wrote called "Best, uh, what best, of, best of the worst," and the concept was like, you know, you could either be the best player on JV or you could be the worst player on varsity. Which one's the better position? And that's a tricky thing because mm. you want your shine. You want to be the best of the best, and. I think part of my mindset at the time was like being complacent with being best of the worst. Yeah. And I don't know. I mean, my mindset is now like I want to one up myself. That's my goal. I'm, exactly. I'm, I'm my only competition. That's great. Too. But uh, yeah, it was called best of the worst, and it was just like ignorant bars and stuff. It was. Yeah. I mean, I was always about like the wordplay and the player yeah. words. I always love that stuff. But yeah, I like when you uh, there's a vlog or a music video. And you're like, uh, the, my something about my mean, but it's average. And you're like, yeah. you get it, because mean and like in yep. mathematical term is the average <laughs> of the two or the numbers together and yep. i was like this guy really just explained the bar in a bar and he was like you know just crazy nice. your wordplay is crazy nice. i think y'all should go check him out man i mean the instrumental will be playing throughout this song cool, cool. that's cool with you yeah. uh i think one of my favorite songs that you just dropped was a uh, wishful thinking Thank and you. it just makes me feel i don't know like I said, it just got J. Cole vibe, but it's not J. Cole, and it's just Zico. It's I've like, gotten a lot of Mac Miller, which is fair. That too, of course. <laughs> Mac Miller Mac Miller is a great comparison to you, but I think, I don't know why people are sleeping on you, man. You know, I was with you. I, well, it's all good. You know, you it's just only think, time. You tell, me, tell me what you think about that people, when people say that. Like, I don't know. Why Why you slept on? What, what are you telling them? I don't know. It's, it's tricky. Like, I, I feel like if I... Um, I love making stuff. I've always loved creating and making stuff. So I could never conform to being the 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 label head or some right. shit. But I also have a very like, you know, I have I just have ideas on all, all sides of the spectrum. So I could say, Oh, like, you know, I hear I hear what you're talking about with KP and I'm like, Oh, try this. Yep. It's just like my intuition, I wanna try to provide you some sort of value. Exactly. And I like that's just where my mind works. It's not always like, Oh, let me paint this picture. Um but so that's kind of 
where I say that to say like my one of the things I'm I'm trying to work on and get better at is like you know how do I balance you know not how do I balance making great art mm -hmm. and marketing it like because yep. it is a balance exactly. you can market a shitty product and that shit can sell yeah. yep. but if something if a tree falls in the forest there's no one to hear it so mm -hmm. it's like trying to find that balance and it's you know it's not you, it's not like you're gonna be a doctor there's no set in stone path you gotta right. figure it out which is it's exciting but um, I don't know it's a process that, that to me is why I wanna link with dope people too because at yeah. the end of the day like if we could just make more dope stuff like it's it's bound to happen I mean um, you know and if not me then someone else hopefully I could be in the room and then you know but there's no there's no telling on uh, on what what can happen and what what's gonna happen I just you know I hope for the best and of course that's all we can do yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, sure. are y'all recording? yeah, yeah. oh my bad <laughs> you're good shout out KP one time yeah shout out KP out here yeah that's good <laughs> shit come on Cody let's get in here come on go hey. inside hey okay stop ah. Ooh, all, right. all right, he's fine. Cool. <laughs> we got the whole squad up in here. That's dope. So, you dropped the song, uh, Thurgood Marshall, right? Oh, not Thurgood Marshall, <laughs> with the Marshall. Marshall, Marshall Mathers. Marshall 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 Marshall. Yeah. Yep, that was good. I like that song. So, what was your inspiration for that one? Both uh, Marshall Mathers Publishing, Marshall uh, Soul Old School, and um, Marshall Mathers Publishing. Those were the name of the beats. Mm -hmm. So, I just called the song The Beat. Yeah, okay. Because, like, I started with the beat, or my producer started with the beat. Right. Um, and uh, I just kept it as that. Sometimes it's fun. Because there's so many songs called, like, They Don't Know. Or, you know what I mean? They're, like, predictable, <laughs> right. like, The Come Up. Like, <laughs> like Up Next. Like, uh -huh. it's cool to, to name a song something that's never been named before. Right. Um, so, but regarding inspiration, like, those, I mean, I can't even explain. Those are just kind of, like, spare the moment. Regarding uh, Soul Old School, at least. Yeah. You didn't even ask about that one. But that one, I was just kind of in a place at the time. It was October. And, like sweaters weather season coming yep. coming up i know it's gonna get colder rainy and it's like you kind of want to be with someone during those times so yep. it's like wishful thinking about having someone exactly um and then marshmallow's publishing was just kind of like a that was a freestyle actually was it really not completely i had to rewrite it because right, at first the, the first take was pretty vulgar like the mm. the hook so i, I switched <laughs> some words out um but the whole verse after a certain point was freestyle there's still some of it in there so it was just kind of like one of those Quick little beat and yeah, yeah just, just the vibe like that's dope. That to me is I don't know. It's it's balancing like trying to leave an impact and trying to change lives and also try to have fun with it. Exactly. You can't be that serious dude all the time because then no one takes you serious. Right. Because right. no one's like that. And you can't be making jokes all the time because then no one takes you serious. So right. Trying to balance that and I don't know. Of course, man. Yeah. Dang. That's so wishful things. Uh, then we got bad news that you probably didn't film that whole portion. But it's all good. I, I got the audio right here, so we can just upload it to the... No, you go ahead. You go. It's just the audio. Oh, yeah, y'all chilling now? Yeah. Y'all yeah. good? Yeah. Yo, bro, I like this shit. This shit. Bro, I was just reflecting on the, like, the, the fucking, um, the board, bro. It was only six. We used to, it only used to be us on there. Yeah. Now that shit's like... 30? Huh? How many people? It's like now it's overlapping. Like that's insane. Yeah, we need like, a bigger board, bro. It's crazy. <laughs> need a bigger house. Like, for real, oh, like, for real. This shit is crazy, man. start building like studios out here. Exactly. Yeah, hey, y'all keep doing what y'all doing. For sure. Yes, sir. So yeah, we talked about the vlogs. We talked about so coming to Tucson. Did you have like any co connects here, like? In the hip hop so, university, you met Pike. You said, in yeah, I started from the ground up in Tucson, like for real. Like so, first semester I joined a social. I, I was gonna go to either Michigan State, Kansas, University of Kansas, or, or here was last minute. I was gonna go to the two of those, and then my mom was like, oh, what about Arizona? And so I came and saw it with a couple friends from high school. And, you know, it was a good time. It was cool, it was close to LA, good weather, blah, blah. And, uh, but when I went to Kansas, I saw myself locked in the dorm, it was snowing, like I had this vision. I was, you know, they show you the rooms when you yeah. go to school. And, like, I had this vision of myself just working on music by myself in my dorm. And obviously, obviously that didn't happen. Um, I came here and I got kind of got sidetracked a little bit first semester. You know, Cole said he did too, so it's yeah. cool. But um, yeah, so first semester, oh shit, first semester I uh, joined a social fraternity and I was like, you know what, this isn't really it. I don't really, you know, nothing against the guys, you know, yeah. but it's just like different priorities. Yeah, yeah, exactly. exactly. Second semester I joined a business fraternity. I was like, all right, well let me get around people that want to get get their money, like get, get paid, business. You know what I'm saying? And I rushed. The process was great. It was you know talking all about like business stuff and then I get in and it's just like hey let's go party and I was like I left the party 
organization to not come party. Yeah. I want to get I want to get stuff done. Like, you know, Gary's like, sacrifice your twenties. Tom Bill, you founder like Quest Nutrition, yeah. sacrifice your twenties. He's like, sacrifice your twenties, and I'm like, cool, I'm down, let's go. Yeah. And uh, so yeah, I kind of realized during that time like, uh, like, I didn't come here to, to have fun. I, I knew that the whole time. I stopped going to parties in high school. Yep. So, second semester. I was just like, you know, I did this already. I did this sophomore year, junior year. Same thing over and over. It's the same thing over and over. <laughs> I don't need more of this. Yeah. I mean, hopefully I bring a girl home. But it's like, she's drunk. Like, it's just, it's, it's not. It's, it's cool. Vibe. Like, you know there's no disrespect. Like, if, if that's what you enjoy doing, then by all means. But for me, I just would rather, you know, I would rather be making moves. I would rather be helping people, helping myself or getting better, learning. Yeah. And uh, so... I forgot the question again, but... <laughs> it's all good, man. We, we just ramble, man, to be honest with yeah. you. We can just talk about life. And like I said before the podcast even started, <laughs> I want to know if you still stand by your statement uh, oh, that, tradi- is, that traditional is all right, but barbecue lays is way better than original lays. Original lays. Yeah. You, st- you still, you still yeah, stand by that? For sure. For sure, that's facts. You want to go... It's like that- vanilla, like... <laughs> like chocolate, like... <laughs> Mix it up. Like, there's so many things. Exactly. Like, create your own flavor. Yep. Like, I never was one to go to Baskin Robbins and get cookie dough and cookie dough or cookies yeah. and cream. Like, I would be like, mm, let's get some cookie dough and actually cookie dough and, co- and cookies and cream and cookie dough sounds good. But, like, <laughs> the idea that, like, you got to mix and match. And to me, that's what, like, was so cool about, you know, hip hop. There's, you could get a little bit of, like, soul and a little bit of punk. Like, mm-hmm. you could get, like, cut, you know what I mean? And then that influences more artists and, like, that's why there's so many subgenres of hip hop. There's alternative hip hop. There's Christian hip hop. Like there's, yep. it's it's just about making your own. It's your niche. Exactly. Um, You're pretty cool. So we're doing Indian rap today, and before we end the, the interview portion, I just want hard to ask this question. Um, what would you tell yourself, your 15 year old self, you know, now that you're here? I mean. You know, and you're going to be somewhere soon. <laughs> like, in two years? I would have said, uh, there's so much I would have said. I mean, I would say, like, be, good, like, nice. No. <laughs> like, be a good person. Like, that's, The Rock has this quote. It's like, it's nice to be important, but it's more important to be nice. Right. Like, and he, he said, if I ever become famous one day, I want to make sure that I'm nice. If I ever become po- important, I want to make sure that I'm a nice person. And I think... I think that's super cool. I think that's why Gary resonates is because so many people don't know what to do or what they want to do and they're mm-hmm. just overwhelmed and they're stressed, especially because our parents didn't grow up with this thing. Right. You know, and uh, I think it's really easy to get caught up and, you know, I struggle with tackling my ego and, and um, no one's perfect. I would just say, yeah, be nice and, and like, it sounds so cliche. Like, I'm going to look back and be like, oh, this moment. Right. <laughs> but uh, I don't know. I mean, yeah, I don't know. Nice people, nice people are, are are dope. I fuck with nice people. Honestly, but I don't like the phrase uh, "nice guys finish last" because I don't think that's true. I don't think that's true. Either. I think we finish first. You know I mean, unless we're in the bed. Oh, exactly. Hey, <laughs> you already know. So we're gonna end that segment off with the interview <laughs> portion. You know what I'm saying? The interview but, portion with that. You all can check us out on SoundCloud, my SoundCloud. Listen to the podcast if you want. That was his idea, man. By the way, he DM me on Instagram. He was like, "Yo, I like the podcast, but I don't like staying on the the YouTube." thing while I'm, you know, working or running, like, I'd rather have it and just put it in my pocket and go listen, so that was Zico right there, man, thinking, and he has great ideas, man, he also came up with Engraves and with the... There's a collaborative effort. Exactly, exactly. And that's not me, that's that's Gary, that's all these dudes saying yep. start your podcast. That's, uh, what's his name? Some, I just saw this video the other day, Is like, start that podcast, start that thing, start that thing, yes, there's a million podcasts, but... Doesn't matter. Do your like. Do yeah, it. Like, exactly. No one. Who cares? Yeah. Who cares? And then they started this collaborative effort. Uh, his group, the team out here, Engraved. Yeah, KP, Kaiser, KP, Dave Kaiser. Kaiser. Shout out all y'all. You know what I'm saying? We'll leave, we'll leave the links in the description because you know we we out here trying to give back and give some value and some uh, some substance. You know what I'm saying? So that's gonna do it for us, man. Don't forget to like the podcast. Don't forget to follow, subscribe. Share that shit. Yeah, and share that. You know what I'm saying? So let's get into this reaction video. Cool. So we back here with Zico, man, the man of the hour, too sweet to be sour, you know what I'm saying? The man with the power. So we're going to react to some Indian rap. Uh, let's just add play before I go ahead and do anything. So how did you get the video? Oh, did you just juxtapose it based on the audio here? You just put it up there? Yeah, exactly. I, I try to line it up, and it takes a long time sometimes, but other times I get lucky and get, get on the first try. It's an art. It's a craft. 
Hey, we're doing it. So we got subtitles here, so we can we can be able to uh, listen and hear what they're trying to say. But this, we're reacting to City Slums, uh, Raja Kumar featuring Divine uh, official video. Uh, this was in the comment section below. This is Sony Music India. Okay. So I think uh, it's all good. So you know what? We're just gonna get into it, man. Sounds like it. 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 All right, so the subtitles don't help me because it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's Hindi. You, you don't know the speed? No, 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 I no, don't. But hey, I don't know what you're saying, but whatever you're saying, go hard. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm guessing this is Divine, and this, okay. and this is Raja. Raja. Yeah. So or maybe know. she's divine. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, maybe comment down in the section below who's who. You know what I'm saying? My bad. I just cut him off in the flow. He's rapper, singer, songwriter, Raja. Oh, okay. So he, you're right. He's Raja. Oh no, she's Raja. I think he's Raja. Okay. I kind of like this. Yeah, this is nice. I mean, honest reminds me a lot of like an Eminem kind yeah. of like. Yeah. Yeah. Oh shit! <laughs> it's Roger, okay. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, can you All I'm saying is the U.S. women better watch out when she when she starts coming here to the U.S. Uh, oof. Okay. Oh yeah. And the fact that it's Indian, but she's rapping in, in English. English yeah. That just says that she kind of wants to come over a little bit and maybe she's body. She's yeah, exactly. She's exactly. Smart. For people like me, so I can understand her rap. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Like us. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You get a little bit of the culture here in the video. Sure. There's artists like this that if I saw her on the street, I wouldn't think twice. Hey, yep. No. Nope. But if she's walking to India, she's like. Yeah, hiding, like, like making sure nobody sees it. That's crazy. That's, That's what good. I'm saying, like, fame, like, it's so stupid. Like, ego, like, all that shit. That's why being nice is cool. Yeah, it's like, exactly. You don't, rock you don't know rocks who to do. Anywhere, he's just the rock. He's yeah. a good dude. I hope. I don't know. <laughs> We're all gonna be six feet deep at the end of the day. It's like. This is dope. Yep. I like how they're catching the culture though in here too, like. Yeah, it can be done in like open field. Like, yeah. This even sounds like a Dre beat kind of. Yep. Thing. I love this. Yep. Aftermath. <laughs> That's cool. That was hard, man. I didn't know. I thought I, really, I thought he was a she was a guy, but hey, that's that's fire, man. So what's what's your last thoughts on that one, man? I think that's dope. Yeah, that's dope. It just goes to show, like, hip hop is global. Like, it is. It's dope. It makes you think about it a little differently too. It's just like, dang, so Americans listen to some Indian rap, and people are listening to you. You're talking about in the interview. 
You got people playing you in 15 countries. You know, like one person in, in like no. Denmark. But hey, but that's still somebody, right? Shout out to <laughs> you if you're watching this. Hey, in Denmark, hey, that's, my, that's where most of my viewers come from. So, hey, they're probably like, oh, is he coming out? Okay. That's hard. So, that's dope, man. We're going to have to go out to Denmark, like, yeah. do a big hunt in Denmark. Yeah, low key. Let's do it. Let's make it happen. Oh, yeah, that was dope. Shit. All right, well, that's going to do it for us today, man. My man, Zico, don't forget to follow him on Instagram, Twitter. Uh, what else you got? You got YouTube. Are you, gonna go Are you coming back to YouTube? Slowly. I don't know what kind of content to upload. Okay. You know, I mean, we'll see. We'll I, let him think about that. got a video dropping, low-key. There you go. Low-key working up. You know what I'm saying? I'll be, it'll be on my... Easy video. Exactly. It'll be in my link, you know what I'm saying, when he drops it. So, best of all the support. So, you know what? That's going to do it for us today. And if you, Remember, if you ain't up to it, you ain't down to it, then what you going to do with it? Can you explain that real quick? Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah.